All right, hello everyone. It's me, Connor from Seafoam Gaming at Ohana Con, the Pokemon Regional Championships. Continuing a separate video from my coverage video, I'm here with Veronica Taylor of Ash Fame, and I was gonna ask a few mini interview questions to see about to see a few things and whatnot. So to start us off, Veronica, um, how do you feel about the XY anime series? Because most people consider it to be the best since the original or advanced generation series. Right. Have you seen it or heard of it? I haven't watched that much of it. I have to be honest. Um, I loved working on Pokemon, and the it's very hard for me to watch the show with other voices in it. And so um, I really miss Pokemon, but um, I haven't watched it much since we've been replaced. Fair enough. Um, a second question. Do you know if before the casting shift in the middle of the Leo, even though I feel it was like behind the scenes like in March of 2006 instead of August, uh -huh. um, did you have actually recorded any episodes past Pasta Vista or the Dojo episode? Basically, did you record any of the episodes Pokemon USA recorded for season no, 9? No, we, we went to the end of season 8 and they, um, close to the end of season 8, Pokemon USA informed us that we, we needed, that they'd already found replacements. So in a sense, we were fired. Um, and so no, I, we didn't record anything going into that. And the next question, for season nine, because it was basically the second half the Battle That's Frontier right. arc, right. did you at least see the Japanese version or the rest of the English? We haven't, actually. The final part in it? Yeah. No, I didn't. Oh, wow. I was so sad. I couldn't really, I don't know, it took me a long time yeah. Anyway, but um, no, I didn't see anything past what I worked on. That, that's understandable because yeah. honestly, when Inuyasha got a second season, they replaced the main characters and oh, no one else is that right? because the main character was on vacation when they auditioned. Oh. So basically, I can't, I try watching it, but I can't get into it because the main different. character is different. Yeah. Like, I got into season 9 because I grew up with it like I did the other seasons, right. but Inuyasha came out late, the right. second season. So it's not the same. Yeah. But um, now that I think about it, another question to ask you is, do you know if, um, have, did you watch the Japanese version of the Pokemon anime while recording or after recording? We saw tiny bits of the original when we were recording it, um, but not that much. We mostly just would go in, we get the script, and um, we'd see the picture on the monitor and just start recording. So we only saw tiny bits of the original when we needed to figure something out. A lot, I think a lot of that had to do with time. We recorded very quickly and we were doing an episode to an episode and a half a week. So there wasn't a lot of time to watch and think about it. Um, they had already translated and adapted the scripts and our job was to just get in and, and make it happen. Because this was on syndication for 1998. Right. Right. And is it true that Battle Against the Saint Anne was the first episode aired and not I Choose You? The I one don't know, actually. I, I, I don't know about that. Because I heard that like the episode they are battling on the St. Anne was aired before I Choose You as a sneak preview. Oh, I don't know. I Because I also was getting up every morning at 6 a.m. and putting the tape in my VCR and recording them because I couldn't believe it was on TV. And I would have to go back to find my VHS tapes and find out who it was. So I don't remember. So basically, that I assume it wasn't recorded first. It wasn't the first episode you recorded. Oh, no, no, no. The first episode we recorded was the first episode. And so I imagine that was first. And another question. I don't know. I don't think you voiced any of the characters in this series. But Pokemon Chronicles has never been re-released in the United States, only in Australia, ah. but all the old four kids voice actors voiced for it, even though it happened after the dub came. I see. So, do you know why it hasn't been re-released on DVD? Is it because the old actors are holding it up? But then again... I don't know about that. I think all of that has to do with whoever's releasing it. If it's... I don't know who has the rights to that. Viz has Is it a Viz thing? So, it would just be if they're letting it... Like, because it seems it just is weird. I remember seeing on Toonami, they've never re ran it, they only re won the main season. Yeah, that's more complicated, I think. It has nothing to do with the actors, I can oh, tell right. you that. Um, because it never had anything to do with us in the first place. So um, it's all whoever owns it and what they want to do with it. And my next question what's your favorite Pokemon game? Uh, the only game that we have is Pokemon Red on the. Um, the DS. 
That's what we have at home. Fire Red. Yeah, Fire Red, the original one. That's the only thing I've ever kind of played. Um, I play Pokemon Go now. Uh, who doesn't? Um, but I haven't played. Yes, nice. I haven't played any other games. So, but I did voices for a lot of them. Oh yeah, like puzzly. That's right. Which I think was pretty cool. Um, but I've never seen how it came together and how it works. Oh, well, in Puzzle you basically play as that for the entire game, and all the all the four kids' voice actors retained their roles, but they had to make some new ones because uh -huh. um, I think at the time Agatha and Nance were never voiced oh, I see. when the game came out, so they had to get new voice actors. Interesting. Because the final boss was Mewtwo, like in Stadium, uh -huh. so they just recycled clips from the movie. Interesting. Yeah, I have no idea, so sometime maybe I'll get to see it. Um, and another question. Have you watched, and I know you said you haven't watched the main anime, but what about the spin-offs, like the Pikachu shorts or the Mystery Dungeon anime when Maddie Broston returned? Right. She returned for the second one. Did you I see know. that? The only thing I've seen are the, the shorts that came with the movies. Those I've seen. And the first, well, uh, that reminds me, another question. For some reason, season 7 and season 8 had Pikachu shorts on an A and A flight in Japan. But they were never dubbed. Only the dance short was dubbed. Right. Do you know why that was? That's all of four kids, or maybe that it wasn't going to go on WB for some reason. I so know. Maybe they chose it that way. I, I know, know. Mia Max dropped the. No, Mia Max took over with Jawashi Wishmaker. Uh, you know so much more than I do. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know why it never. Went it back. wasn't in movie details anymore. Could that have been That's the reason? Right. Uh, perhaps. Yeah. All right. I guess if they if there wasn't a place to put it, they might not have uh, dubbed it. Right, and my final question for real this time. Yes. You've been asked this a gazillion times. Do you think you will, I, if you were to ask to return for the new movie or a new episode, would you be willing to do it? Absolutely. I loved working on Pokemon so much. I loved playing Ash. If I had the chance to do it again, I, would, I wouldn't even have to think I would definitely do it. And if that weren't to happen for some reason, would you at least want to watch it to see at least maybe how they pay tribute? I'm not sure. Maybe. It, it is a 20 year I might watch it in Japanese. Good point. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, lo I just love that and I also, as far as um, the original actors in Japan are still working on the show and I have so much respect for them and their talent and what they've been able to do to grow this whole series. Um, I would love to go to Japan and tell them that personally. But it's just, it's incredible that the show has had so much strength and we were here together talking about it and meeting that uh, strength of continuance. Final question, yes. I know I said this before, yes. but for real, I have been wanting to ask this ever since I first started the show. Okay. In the first 41 episodes, I think, uh -huh. Ash had a super deep and dopey voice. Sure. And then he got the childlike voice. A bit. So a lot of that had to do with how it was directed and what they all seemed to want. And then it seemed like I was allowed to kind of let the voice kind of develop into where it basically stayed. But in the very beginning, they didn't really know what they wanted and they wanted it, you know, a lot of, you know, they were, things were a little bit more um, measly and then he was allowed to settle in and then he kind of got like this and then he was like this for a long time. Yes. And then it stayed like that. Um, we also switched studios and, and that changed the way his voice sounded and everything. Because to what I gathered, it happened after the syndication first season, which was after the Executor Squad episode. Yeah. And that's when like Meow's voice got replaced with the Maddie, yeah. and several other voices changed pitches and stuff. Yeah, I think everything was allowed to settle in after a while because there were a lot of cooks in the kitchen, as it, we said. Because before then, you didn't know if it'll take off. Well, we were yeah, we were just working away on it. It was so just a syndication for a short dub that was only going to last one season to begin with. We didn't know that either. We didn't know anything about it, but um, luckily, I was on it eight years, and that was uh, pretty incredible. And I, I keep saying the last question. I mean it this time. Okay. Sorry. Um, have you heard the story of Takeshi Shudo, the scriptwriter for the Pokemon anime? He wrote like the true. He wrote the fan ending for the anime because oh. he wanted there only be one season before it took off. I didn't know that. Did you? It was only like translated last year, but the true ending for the Pokemon anime was Ash actually being an old man in no some way. retirement home. Dreaming the whole journey, and then he'd beat the league, win everything, and then yeah. pass away as the ending. Wow. But then they changed and scrapped that. Then it keeps going and going. Because the first movie was supposed to be the true finale. Oh, that's interesting. But it, 
blew up and right. then he left in season three. Interesting. And I didn't know that. Never heard that before. Yeah. That's well, I'm kind of glad it didn't happen. It was like DOI, so he is like fans because of like the first episode on yeah. Ashley 10, but it was right. confirmed by his website, the Interesting. script writer. Yeah. Thank you for that information. Yes. You all heard it here, in case you didn't know. So, so great talking to you. So this is Seafoam Gaming, and we'll say goodbye. Seafoam Gaming, I choose you! And Connor, I choose you too. Yes.